We're going to stay with the right side of the body for this next one, but the goal is, of course, always to coordinate the two hands. I like to understand exactly what's happening when on which strings. So to help me, I do one string snippets in practice. To do this, you'll practice in tempo, all notes on one string, stop, change your arm level to the next string, play all the notes on that string, stop, change again. We're going to um, try it with an example. Let's listen to the original first up first so it's not chopped up, but just how it would sound continuously. <laughs> So in this mock-up, I've marked the string crossings and the stopping points. Those are the points where I would stop and put a rest and then keep going at full speed until the next string crossing. It sounds like this. Slowly. Stop. 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 A little bit faster. So already in my medium tempo, it's not really even going fast, I really don't like my four threes. So that's what I would be practicing. Then you bump it up, bump it up, and finally, of course, put it back together. Let's take another example, one that's a little bit more complex in terms of bow mechanics. Back to this one, which we've already covered. Okay, so here's the one string snippet version of this, all chopped up. I'll play it first slow and then a little bit faster. Let's try a little bit quicker. Faster still. Ready, three, two, three. Etc. Etc. And then of course put it back together. If you've disassembled something, always put it back together so it is integrated into your learning. I wrote out what I'm doing in that excerpt, but that's just so you could visualize it. Notice I tried to create rests that imitate the rhythmic pattern of the original. So if the notes on the new string start off the beat, they will start off the beat in my alternate version as well. When you glue your passages back together, you'll want to advance the arm towards the new string in a subtle way. Aim for a smooth motion, not a jerky one. And something like this. So you're going to play, starting to drop the arm, drop. Right? You don't want to be moving stepwise, you want to sort of be moving in an arc. I'm just pointing that out because if you've chopped something up with really kind of harsh string angles um, in practice, you kind of need to smooth out those edges again when you put it back together.